Put the gun down. Put the. Dispatched all units. Report of an active shooter at Pine Street School. Suspects reported as a juvenile between the age of 14 and 17. Armed with a handgun, shots are being fired. Definitely is anxiety inducing for sure. Every officer here has to qualify twice a year on this. We train more probably than any agency in the state. I can almost guarantee you that. So my heart was pumping. Yes, sir, but we, we need you to put that knife down and please come with us. It got real intense. This is probably the closest thing you can get to actually bringing somebody out on the street and putting them through that real life scenario. We were told before starting it, you only have like a split second to make these decisions. Sir, step back. Sir, put the knife down. And things can turn either way depending on what you decide to do, what your reaction is. I can base the video interactions with commands given, either bad commands or no commands at all, or effective commands. Put the baby down to be safe. Police! Hello, is anybody there? Hey, sir, ma'am. Please, sir, ma'am, can we calm down? You did a good job. You told them what you wanted them to do. Ma'am, sir, please put down the baby. Quite often, we have to give these commands like you had to several times, right? Sir, please put down the baby. You were settling them down, you were DSing a little bit, and so I gave you a favorable outcome. What is going on? The other outcome's there, like your partner got it when he was given no commands, and the guy pulls out a gun and puts it to the baby. And as you saw here, if I don't think you're giving good verbal commands or de-escalation, I can make it so things don't work out very favorably for you. That was a decision call on your part, shooting a guy while he's holding the baby. Yeah. Not always a great idea. No. We have generally less than a second statistically to make that decision. Yeah. Right? And that's really quick to have to process all that information and apply it. Yeah. You shoot the kid instead of him, yeah, you're probably going to jail. Yeah. Right? Down, you don't shoot down. him and he kills the baby, then you're being filed on for failed act. Yeah. And so there's not always a clear cut conclusion, but the problem is is we have to make it. Yeah. Like really, really quick. Every police officer is trying to do the best that they can with every situation that they have with limited amount of information. And I have a better understanding of that. I know that Beaumont, poli uh, Beaumont police officers are trying to keep, our, keep us safe. I guess I never thought about how much de-escalation comes into a situation because no one wants to have to shoot anybody. No one has to even have to tase anybody. Sir, my name's Officer McGee. Would you like to come with me and talk about this outside? So it's like de-escalation is a huge part of what they are having to do. Sir, can you please put down the knife? It's okay, we don't have to have, have a situation. So it was very surprising how much, even just little things that you say could change what's going on. I learned that things can change in a heartbeat. I thought I was actually de-escalating him and it turned south real fast. He wanted to kill me instead. I didn't recognize that quick enough. You'd have been dead about six times over. Yeah, I would have been dead, mm. yeah. But I think by and large they did a good job. They, they tended to err on the side of de-escalation uh, to points where it really was not appropriate. Put the gun down! And I think they got Put killed the... a couple times because of it. But here's the deal on these active shooters. You never enter any type of active shooter with your gun in the holster. You're out, ready to punch out, ready to go, right? When you're going in, your first and only priority is to locate the threat and eliminate that threat. Your hands, your hands. I think it's interesting, some people think like, oh, I know what I would do in that situation. I did not. Uh, everything I've ever thought of went out the window. I did not survive that one. There are 800 scenarios in this machine uh, on just about every topic of law enforcement. Seeing what the scenarios that they have to actually take and actually you doing them, it really just eye opens a lot of different things for you. At least it did for me. I'd recommend for someone, if they had access to it, to be able to go try something like this, just to see what it's like to put yourself in the shoes of an officer, give you more respect for what they do daily and have to deal with. It just really just shows that Beaumont is trying to keep people safe in the, in the best way possible.